Hey guys, what up? It's the Tominator, and this time I got something special for you. You certainly don't see this every day because that's right, we got footage of not one, not two or three, but eight professional bodybuilders who rivaled or even surpassed the great Ronnie Coleman in the gym. I figured that was an appropriate number considering Ronnie was an eight-time Olympia champion. Now first and foremost, let's get one thing straight. Ronnie is the man. We can safely say that no other bodybuilder in history has ever been stronger across a wider variety of lifts than Big Ron. He is the benchmark. He's the gold standard to which all others are compared. So the purpose of this video is not to discredit or diminish the GOAT Ronnie Coleman. If anything, it should be seen as a giant compliment because it highlights just how incredible his feats of strength really were. I mean, think about it like this. It essentially took a multitude of other bodybuilders merely to rival what he, as a lone individual, was able to accomplish in terms of the poundages he was throwing around. But anyway, first up, we've got some recent footage of Luke Sando. Ronnie was known for pressing the 200-pound dumbbells, which he famously quipped, This ain't nothing but a peanut. Yeah, I can do this all day long, baby. And Sando here manages to eke out eight solid-ass reps. Not quite as impressive as the 12 reps Ronnie put up, but still probably the best form with these I've seen from another top-tier bodybuilder. It's no wonder they call this guy the Juggernaut. And on that note, let me remind you once again, for those of you who may be new to this channel, don't expect to see a Larry Wheels or a Stan Efferding in this compilation, because like always, we're focusing solely on Olympia-level bodybuilders. And while both of those men have competed in bodybuilding events, they are primarily powerlifters and have never made it anywhere near that Olympia stage. So needless to say, it's not a fair comparison, which is why they're not included. So with that out of the way, let's move on to one of the most popular bodybuilders of the modern era, Kai Green. Kai wasn't known especially for being crazy strong, so much as for his crazy posing routines and penchant for spewing long-winded philosophical mumbo-jumbo. One of the principal virtues, you know, don't hold your good gifts hostage. The truth is, I think that with your experiences comes an ability to, on some level, in some way, relate to more people, you know. Um, if I were pulling from some of those past experiences, I would be inept to be able to handle some of the things that I'm able to experience right now. But you can bet your ass that the predator could go full on gorilla mode when he pushed himself. Here's one example on the seated shoulder press where he's pushing 405 pounds overhead. Even Big Ron never did that. Now granted, it's only a single rep for Kai here at that weight, although I have seen him do it for a double, but Ronnie was repping 315, so he could probably crank out at least one at 405 as well. But the fact remains that there is no proof of him ever doing so, so the victory on this lift goes to Kai. Another man with notoriously freaky shoulder strength is one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, Kevin Lavroni. Check out this ungodly behind-the-neck press with four plates aside. Okay, so yes, it is a Smith machine, and the bar there typically weighs about 15 pounds, or about 30 pounds shy of a normal Olympic bar, so this is more like 375 rather than 405, but still, absolutely mind-boggling strength, especially considering it's behind the neck. That's definitely harder than a standard shoulder press to the front, because you can't lean back into it and allow the upper chest to assist. This is all pure shoulders, triceps, and traps. And given that we're talking about the bodybuilder with arguably the best shoulders and triceps of all time, maybe it's not so surprising after all. Okay, next up we've got the late Dallas McCarver doing the deadlift. I believe this was his PR of 845 pounds, which again is something Ronnie Coleman never did to my knowledge. Ronnie did do a double with 800 pounds though at like 6 weeks out, so I have no doubt he could have pulled 845 for a single, especially if it was off season. But if he ever did it, it was not captured on camera. Even Johnny Jackson, who for many years was touted as the world's strongest bodybuilder pound for pound, I believe never attempted anything north of 821 in official powerlifting competition, and even then he didn't quite lock out. So yeah, needless to say, Dallas was insanely strong. Not just here on deadlift, but go check him out on bench press or t-bar rows or hack squats. The guy was a monster in the gym. If he was still alive, I believe the title of strongest current pro would be a battle between him and Luke Sando. Although Josh Lenardowitz is another who might challenge for that distinction. Check him out here lifting a retarded amount of weight on walking lunges. That's four plates aside. 
In other words, 405 pounds on each leg. This dude must have had bionic knees. I can't even fathom the stress this would cause on your knee joints. Now, unfortunately, we don't get a look at the whole set, so I'm not sure how many reps he completed. But regardless, this utterly eclipses Big Ron doing walking lunges in the parking lot with 225 on his back. Leonardo Witz is carrying nearly double that weight. This is by far the heaviest I've ever seen anybody go on lunges, and to do it walking is even more difficult because of the balancing act that's required. So yeah, props to the Aussie behemoth Josh Lenardowitz for this remarkable show of strength. And finally, let's end it off with the king of all lower body movements, barbell squats. First, we've got Akeem Williams hoisting a ridiculous seven plates aside raw. That's 675 pounds with no belt and no knee wraps. And he does it for a triple and makes it look easy. Are you freaking kidding me? I know what you're saying, but Ronnie did 800 for two reps. And yes, that's true, but Ronnie was also wearing a powerlifting suit when he did it. I can't stress enough just how much harder it is to squat raw with these sorts of extreme poundages without any kind of supportive equipment. Akeem's spine must be made of one of those magical metals like adamantium or vibranium or something because the ease with which he does this is truly abnormal. And lastly, let's finish it off with Rolly Winkler squatting eight plates a side. That's 765 pounds for at least three repetitions. I'm not sure how many he did here in total because the video cuts off, but even if he stopped at three, that's still comparable to Coleman's 800 for two, especially considering that once again, Rolly wasn't wearing a powerlifting suit. In any case, I think we can all agree that this is a truly ludicrous amount of strength for a bodybuilder. And that's going to do it for this one. Obviously, there's been many more impressive lifts throughout the decades, but I wanted to keep this video nice and condensed and just show you some of the most mind-blowing examples I've personally been able to find. But of course, if you can think of any others, let me know, or better yet, link to the videos in the comments below. If there's enough material, I might even put out a part two. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if so, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, this has been The Tominator signing off, and... I'll be back.